So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Second and 14. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready, Rip right, rip right. Now Wilson on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. At the 32-yard line. There's Wilson to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Wilson. Now they go screen. It's complete. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Now Wilson. That is incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on Let's the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me come and said, on, just go. don't really do that in the NFL. We, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. And how about this? The dog pound gets the crowd. The Cleveland Browns are the Super Bowl champs. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs, you see the guys sharing, the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them, a fantastic season. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.